<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the Super Brick Game, the 201, or also called the UG928. Some time ago, I picked up this Brick Game from a thrift shop, and I just needed to check it out here on the channel. Brick Games, I have so many nostalgia feelings to these devices. Even I had a Game Boy back in the day. Brick Games were so much fun to play. But a Brick Game, and two in one, so that is not like a major collection. You can pick this thing up from AliExpress like for two dollars nowadays but they are not the same quality these are like the robusta real old school brick games that you can pick up and these things like gigantic and this thing even has a tiny stand built in and to be honest i have no idea why you should play like that but what you're going to get basically is a big button for a rotation then we're going to get a left right level mode stuff like that and the reason they said it like a very strange way like height level and mode because it's basically navigation from the main menu on and off we can mute the volume reset and here we're going to get pause and start that's the only thing that we're going to get yeah the battery compartment is also a strange way here you can see like you would expect that we're going to need four batteries but three seems to be doing the job so that's a quite interesting thing also we're going to open it up because i want to see what's in the inside so let's turn it on like when powering it on you can see like it doesn't let's say safe or quick load quick save like we didn't have that back in the day but let's try a game and let's see what for options we're having so the reason i'm saying it because we don't have a lot of stuff we can change out here we can change out the speed it's kind of cool so basically it demonstrates how fast it will go then we're going to get the mode so with mode basically we're going to get game mode rotation and basically we're going to get game mode a and b that's it then we're going to get the height and here we can change out the height that's it like here you can see that we can change it over here so that's basically what we can do so this is purely in brick game or in tetris clone so let's start the game and oh man this thing this thing goes really loud <laughs> and that's it that's the only thing that it does i still have like some sound effects that sound effect is kind of hilarious if you think about it we having like the line cleared and that's basically the only thing that we're going to do and try to get a high score this is like the old school tetris the funny thing is like when you're looking at the aliexpress ones you're going to get like a multi-game so basically we're going to get like a frogger clone a racing game and tank game stuff like that and that's not what we're going to get so the idea behind it like the two-in-one functionality is mainly for the stand at the back but let's take a close look in the inside oh i didn't remove all of the freaking parkers or screws how you want to call these things okay and they're using these very weird ones like yeah they're using the very weird ones and this screwdriver had a plastic blob at the top so it's basically hurting my hand so this is not a very convenient way to get your screws out because it's crushing my freaking hand here ow 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 oh, get them freaking screwdriver let's get myself another one okay so let's see if we can open it up yep all right so that's it like that's the technology that is inside this machine so the first thing i'm noticing they're using a little bit thicker cables like all like normal i was say always always no like normal because they're losing normally like these thin wire when you're looking at they will break but when you're looking at the tiny speaker look at this magnet that was on there like look how powerful this freaking magnet is I can even magnify my freaking <laughs> screwdriver with it but that's the thing you know like some of these brick games will surprise you and here we're going to get the first pcb for the control panel and here we're going to get the second one and the second one of course includes the blob and everything and the information so let's do a quick further tear down oh man i don't know how it's with you but i love to tear down these things just to see how they made it and the funny thing is like i really love the plastic of the, sh yeah, the shell of itself because the shell is made of very okay quality and you cannot say that the same with those three four dollar ones from aliexpress anymore but again it's just fun and pure nostalgia to look at these things and i'm also curious like when they admit, did they make this are they still making these quality ones or is it just a really old one you can see like the membranes and everything 
be very careful that not everything will basically fall out. So here we're going to see the PCB that they made. There's nothing fancy, of course, here because there's just a very thick ribbon cable on it. Damn, there are some big capacitors over here on this thing. Man, there's like a very interesting construction. Do I need to get myself a bigger, bigger screwdriver? What? Yep, I need. Let's see if they're using the same technology like with the previous ones I've reviewed. And I mean, like the previous one, like they're having only the PCB with a special display in it. Nothing fancy. Damn, they're using a lot of freaking screws in this thing. They were not kidding about it. All right, all right, let's remove these. And let's rip this out. The first thing I'm noticing, like, this thing has quite a big LCD display. I just realized. Let's put this aside. Another thing is normally you can rip off the... Yep, rip out the display. So these are, like, what I understand of the side contacts. You can see, like, they're making communication over here. Like always, we're having the black blob in the middle. I must say that's a very big blob. And, of course, then we're going to get ourselves the gold contacts that communicates with the display over here. But the way how they made this, and it's not bad at all. I can say that. It's very interesting construction. All right, guys, so this is what we're going to get with the Super Brick Game 2-in-1. I find it kind of funny to see these devices, and when you're comparing all of the Brick Games together, you can see quite some difference between the quality. So it's quite an interesting, let's say, piece of technology, especially when you're loving Tetris. Let me know, do you have Brick Games, and do you even love to play some Tetris nowadays? Well, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become on the Wicked Family, and I will see you in the next video.